This is a quick tutorial for creating dynamic and static collisions in Fallout 4. You will need FreeDS Max 2013 or 2014 and the Bethesda import export tools that come with a CK installation. First, let's start with the static collisions. Before you start, you need to set up the Bethesda material and assign it to your model and collision. Otherwise, the model and the collision will not be exported. Choose BS Lighting FX and assign it to your model and later to your collision. You can assign it any time before you export. You will need your 3D model as well as a 3D mesh for collision. You can duplicate or create a custom one as well. After you have both, first select the model, then drag and select everything. Go to the Havoc Content Tools bar, select Physics, and create Rigid Body with Proxies. A messenger will appear, and click OK only if the name of your model and not the name of your collision object appears. The Rigid Body settings are not important for static mesh, just be sure to put some number for the weight. Now select the Collision Mesh, and set the Shape Type to Mesh. Then. Click the hammer icon and select the More option and select Collision Group. Then elect the material that you want the collision to react as. This will define how it responds when walked on, shot, etc. For object type, select Static. Then select both object and collision and click Apply to selected. Now deselect everything and export using the Game Biro export. And in the file export scripts, select PE Static Art. Test your NIF to see if everything was exported correctly. You will see some errors in NIF scope. These are normal and can be ignored. If you don't see the mesh, delete the collision, remove the rigid body modifier from the model, reset its X form, collapse, and repeat the process. You then need to convert the NIF in Elrich which is located in the Fallout 4 Tools Elrich directory. Open Elrich and select File Load Settings. You want to load the PC Meshes option, which is located in the Settings folder inside the Elrich folder. Once loaded, you are ready to convert your NIF. Converted NIFs are saved in the Elrich Processed folder. Once converted, you are ready to use your NIF in the Creation Kit. Now, let's make some dynamic clutter collision. For this one, we want to use a convex hull collision. Select your mesh, and on the left panel, select the open convex hull utility. Try to use the lowest possible value for max verts, and check enclose hull, and then select generate hull. This will generate a lower poly hull for our physical object. You will then want to select the object, then the collision, and use the Havoc content tools to create rigid body with proxies. Set your weight, set quality type to moving, and solver deactivation to median. Select the collision itself, and set collision type to hull. As before, we select the collision groups, and this time we choose prop. Note that prop will not allow you to drag the object around in-game. Depending on what you specifically need, you may wish to play with the settings on your own and experiment later. Make sure to apply the BS Lighting FX shader to both collision and model and then export using the Game Biro option and PE Static Art script. Test once again in NISCO to see if collision and mesh are present and then convert with Elrich the same way as before. Now, you are ready to test in game. Thanks for watching, and remember, kids, this process takes less than 30 seconds in Unreal Engine 4, but Bethesda totally supports you. Wink wink. If you made it through the whole process and do not want to kill yourself, please consider employment at a Vault Tech internment camp today. Vault Tech. We find new and inventive ways to do things the absolute worst way possible just like our creators.